No, I don't remember that, Val, because it never happened. Because you're a weirdo, and you apparently want to see it. But anyway, uh, we're going to stick to tasks in the fort for now. So that way, I'm not just kind of going blind into everything. Well, the thing I want to do first is go to that mine where things. Got about it. I didn't know you ever knew about it. But, uh, yeah, this is apparently the rebel armor. I'm confused by that because I don't know what rebels there are. A defector. Who are they defecting from? Are they like cleric defectors? Outlaw defectors? But anyway. Um, off screen, I did get a lot of abilities. Mostly the abilities that let you learn or accumulate like attribute points faster and XP faster. So I got all that. So I don't need this bookworm specialization anymore. I swapped it out for this. It gives me a little extra armor for some unknown reason. One of the things I read, and I don't know if it's actually true, is that since attributes cost more points the more you level them up, similar to Gothic 2, um, in Gothic 2, you would want to save your permanent potions and stuff for later on. Uh, once, basically, the attributes became too expensive to use learning points on. But... Supposedly, this game keeps track of how much you've invested via, like, upgrade potions versus attribute points. And does not apply the greater expense until you've hit the threshold of attribute points separately. So I'm just going to quaff all these. Not going to make a huge difference. But I I am told to just drink them when you got them. Uh-oh, weirdo. Another thing I'm going to do is I've kind of left all companions behind, and I'm just going to go solo for for now. Just see if it changes the experience. I keep forgetting to unplug the damn controller. can't believe it's 2022 and we still got video games that cannot disconnect the controller, like, software-wise. When it knows you're using the keyboard. Where was this mine? The hell's after me? Um, I have a very upgraded sword now. So I actually have been doing pretty alright in combat. As I go about my business. I don't remember where this mine was. Sure were. So I guess we have to try and put on the gas mask and hope that we can... <clears throat> survive whatever's going on here. I don't remember what exactly our objective was with it. Try and seal it up somehow. Gas mask will provide some protection. See if I can buy some somewhere. Uh, do I have anything? That improves... My survivability. <clears throat> I didn't think I looked for anything. Gas mask alone probably won't help too much. Especially because I would think gas would also, like, get in through your eyes. Like, mucous membranes and shit. Try and make this quick. Basically, you have to figure out where it's coming from and then figure out what to do about it. Pound those while I'm going, I guess. I'm sure, it'll be in the deepest part. So they've obviously gotten this far before it this went off. Like the source of the gas. I should tell Scrappy that this source probably won't be closed off. <laughs> Jetpack and cramped corridor is probably not the greatest idea. Oh god. What'd I just get? 
healed my potions a hundred times. Okay. Can't believe I drank that many potions. I've never had to buy any or make any. Kind of insane. This game is way too generous with potions. Of course, I'm rather grateful for it because combat sucks. Alright, so unfortunately nothing to do about that. You know, it'd be real nice if there was a teleport on the other side of town. Something about this fort music. So weirdly, like, upbeat for this game. Throws me off. Oh, balls. Okay. We're good. I did end up clearing out whatever monstrosity was down here. Just so it doesn't get in my way. Uh-oh. Encoding. Hey, old scrappy-doo. Oh, God! My mistake. He's just gonna kill my ass. I remember, these games do not have... Um... Like, the ability to... Like, en ugh. NPCs don't just knock you down. They kill your ass. I have no idea why they decided to make that change. It was a mistake. Oh, I can't talk to him now. Are you serious? Oh. I guess he just didn't like my flashlight. I found the source of the gas. High volumes of it are emanating from the back of the mine. Don't think the source can be blocked off. Well, shit. You saying there's no way to get rid of it? Doesn't look like it. Son of a bitch. Ah, but wait. Old Scrappy's got an idea. Well, was your idea, actually. Was it? But let's talk about you. Take some of Fenris's shards, okay? Have someone check you out. Gas is dangerous shit. So, what's your idea? Gas masks. We need gas masks. Well, uh, how does that help? They only last so long. Where do we get them? Getting Foe to work in the mine with just a gas mask is about as wise as shoving a stick up a troll's ass. But I ain't got no choice. We need the iron. You'll need new miners as well. Oh, shit, huh? <laughs> Didn't think about that. But we can buy masks from the Morgoths if one of them mole trader fuckers is in the fort. Mole trader fuckers? That sort of shit. Living underground and all. I'll see if I can find anything. Here. This should be enough to get some masks. Now I gotta figure out how to convince some other poor bastards to work down the mine. Hm. Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of an important issue here. I mean, gas masks alone aren't gonna help you. You're gonna need new filters to replace. Plus, it's uh, just not a great idea. I mean, I would say send someone with a gas mask down with a... A big old bomb. Tell everyone to get the fuck out of there. Detonate it and see if that actually, like, A, blows up the gas. Probably wouldn't. I'm sure there's a humongous volume of it. Ah, uh, well, I get the feeling there's a bit of a, what do you call it? Kind of like the honeymoon effect is what I call it, where people first play a game and they enjoy it more. But as it goes on, like, more people are going to play it who dislike it. I wouldn't, yeah, recency bias, that'll work. How are you going to find new miners? Guess I'll just hang up a few flyers or something. Still got some floating around. Might not mention the last lot dying. Well, somebody's got to clear out the corpses, buddy. Why don't you hang up a few on the bulletin boards? I'll take care of the area around the main gates. Where do I find the bulletin boards? There's one near Chloe's Tavern. One near the fields, and one close to Skinny Soup Kitchen. Uh, be careful out in the fields. Thorhill would be pissed if we try to take her workers. Got all that? Well, off you go then. If you need me, I'll be hanging around the main gate. Sweet, finally you're out of here and I can steal this goddamn thing. You don't... Get that thing. Around. I, saw you. I, I know you didn't. Lion sack of shit. Just 
Chloe's Tavern, the Soup Kitchen, and somewhere around the fields. Ah, shit. I guess that's the thing. I don't think I ever really dealt with a crime system in the last game. I'm not sure who I gotta talk to. That's chicken goop. That sound, there's still, like, nothing associated with it. Like, it sounds like something flying across the sky. But you never see anything. It just happens. At least the first game had actual... Like, planes flying overhead. Are you gonna yell at me if I put something up? Accusatory message. Allowing the safe with your salaries to be stolen from your warehouse, how stupid can you be? None of your biznatch. I need to find new mine workers for Scrappy. Why isn't this an actual conversation? Go see Thorhild. You need permission before you poach her workers. I, I assume this is not going to go well. This is what I mean. Like, they have some interesting layers to the quest because they, like, most of the time you think, okay, this is just something you do, and you go back and get your reward. But they have, like, obstacles upon obstacles, and actually makes a quest more interesting. But unfortunately, that's like the only thing I've found to praise about this game so far. Sometimes those layers do get exhausting. Where's this Thor Hild I heard so much about? Oh, she still wants me to do something else anyway, so... Oh, balls. How do you fix it? You you can't fix those. This is not gold yet. This is the fort. This is the outlaw town. Well, giving control to someone else isn't easy. I've never been very good at it. Why do you, why do you just talk? You just like says shit out of nowhere. Also, a hilarious thing is when you whenever you have a piece of armor that goes over your mouth like that, it doesn't move when his jaw moves. That's one of the reasons why they make your helmet go away in conversation. Why is the encoding still fucking up? This game was not having this problem any other time I did it. Why was that up to max? Yeah, so basically the berserkers... Why does it go to low? I only pressed the button once. Every time you touch the shader quality, the game, like, freezes up like a motherfucker. Maybe that's the problem. Um... Yeah, apparently the berserkers took over the fort. And a lot of the outlaws just hitched up with them for the hell of it. But other ones are kind of spread out. There's all the way... I wish you could zoom out the map more. All the way over here, like, there's a new berserker uh, outlaw town. And a fellow named Baxter is running it. And Baxter was, like, somebody mentioned but not present in the last game. I also saw something down here which I need to check out eventually. But I'm not sure if they're hostile. What are these guys hopping around? Oh, weirdos. Oh, God. I'm going to have to turn down... Render distance in here, otherwise things start disappearing. Alright, where's the, uh... There you are. Done. Done. It's that one. There's another one by Chloe's place. We need gas masks from you. I need gas masks. With or without filters. What's the point of a gas mask without a filter? Okay, point taken. Well, maybe you already had the filters. I have a few in stock. Have a rummage. Because it's you, you can have it for a special low price. Spare me the sales spiel. Well, hey, 
He might not give you the discount now if you're being rude about it. How many do we need? I don't know how many I need. Depends on how many damn... Sweet! It crashed. God damn, this game is just fucked today. I like how I acted like I was being generous giving this game another chance today, and this is what's happening. I don't know, they're just trying... They're really put... Like, pushing this engine beyond its means. I, I like how they're... Oh god, we're all the way down here. Um, the screenshots in their loading screens look significantly worse than the in-game does. Brow. It was a pleasure what? Doing business with you. I ain't done no business with you. It is interesting that, like, there are more characters wearing, like, very normal-looking clothing. Than there were in the first game. Like, even conventional characters just had... You know, it looked like they were wearing armor. But now people are wearing, like, turtleneck sweaters and shit. Like, what is he? He's just got a bone. I just noticed. He's got a bone just tied to his wrist. As, like, armor. That's Put silly. Away. Smart move. Uh, yeah, see, that's a lot more than the money he gave me. Whatever. Gonna, I'll include mine. I have the gas masks that Scrappy needs. He asked me to bring them to him. I know how to do quests, dude. Stop! You're a wanted man. I'm taking you to Fenris. Off we go. Fair enough. Now we have you. You stand accused of theft. Pay a fine or face the consequences. Where's my trial, dude? God, that's a lot. I want to pay my fine. Good. I don't want to see you here again for a similar offense. Understand? Now get out of here. I'm busy. Don't worry. I'll come back accused of... It's good to see you. Who are you? Settling in? <laughs> Wait oh, you're the place. weirdo that was, like, hanging out outside. Tried to sew your mouth shut and kick you out? <laughs> Very funny. Well, I answered all of Fenris's questions. He wanted to know all about the Morkons. I was so scared at first I couldn't say a word. Thought he was going to beat the answers out of me. But then he just... Gave me a load of shards. I've never been so wealthy in all my life. But uh, here's the good bit. Guess why I wanted to talk to you. You're gonna give them to me. You need a button. <clears throat> Don't be ridiculous. I can finally pay you back. Told you I wouldn't forget it. Here, take it. Sweet. The Morcons don't need to hunt you anymore. Well, let them try if they want. The war will be long over before they get anywhere near me. Uh, sorry. I have to go. I hope those shards are useful to you. Oh, and by the way, you might want to poke around the old lighthouse south of... I already did. There'll be a welcoming committee there for anyone who tries to follow me. Plenty of opportunities for emptying pockets, I reckon. <laughs> Interesting. He gave me 500 shards, though. That's, A, not as much as I gave... I mean, way more than I gave him. And B, pretty sure way more than Fenris gave me. So I don't know why he's so generous to this dude. Well, giving control to someone else isn't easy. I've never been very good at it. Why, 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 why do you have to say that? Just to yourself. You have to manufacture the tools for the cultivators. I told you this already. I forge blades. Well, a hoe is a blade. We're supposed to send our people out to fight with pitchforks and scythes. Not gonna do it. Then explain that to Thorhild yourself. Now you listen to me. It's not as easy as you think. What she's asking for takes time. Time and a whole pile of iron. 
I don't have enough of either as it is. You need an apprentice? Um, I decided to leave the companion behind just to see if this game gets more interesting without him. Because they, they, they're much like the first game. They're just annihilating everything we come across. So, it's not very engaging. Exactly how much time and how much iron do you need for the tools? <laughs> You're a tenacious one, huh? Fine. You get me 25 nuggets of iron ore. Oh, man, I used all my iron. I can do. Maybe I can squeeze the order in somewhere. But I'm not spending more than three days at the anvil for this. I'm pretty sure I don't have that. So I had some iron and I used it to upgrade the sword. Oh, I almost have enough. Where the hell did I get all that? I swear I used all my iron just for making my sword. Alright, so I only need a few more pieces. Where do I find iron ore? Ask old Scrappy. If anyone knows where to find it, he does. I do need to... I, I thought we would actually get the gas out of the mine, but since that... Flap your mouth too much. Since that doesn't seem to be an option, uh, I think I'm just gonna have to man up and loot it. And deal with the gas. No, just because since it's crashing apparently, I'm gonna increase the autosave interval. Pretty sure they override each other anyway, so it's not that big a deal. Wow, those guys just came in out of nowhere. You guys are serious business. So I, I can tell that this music is definitely a new track because it, it's noteworthy enough that I would be familiar. But I cannot tell you how much of the soundtrack is reused from the first game. Or at, at most remixed. I really have no idea. The soundtrack so not noteworthy. Hello, Vana. The best PB game stream? I'm surprised you aren't asking me to play Gothic 3. If you want the best PB game. Wake up! Group of Reavers have been wreaking havoc near the fort and several items have been stolen. Our guards will take care of it. Do not... Go out alone. All done. All diggity done. I think that Thorhild will probably be more amenable if I get the tools for her. So I'll hold off on that until then. Let's see what this fella said about the lighthouse. I am intrigued. In Tregway. I don't know why things are happening specifically at the lighthouse, and the lighthouse can't even. Look at that! Look at the lighthouse, like it's. It's got so many, like, lines through it where you can see the sky on the other side. I kind of wish that the game had a dynamic um, render range. Thing because I keep turning it back up when I, like, go back outside, but I have to turn it down in town. Otherwise, the, like, environment culling doesn't work right. Hey, losers. Lucky for us, the Morcon opened his mouth. It wasn't easy, believe me. Almost shit his pants in front of Fenris. He had to feed him plenty of... Huh, <laughs> whoops. Good call. Just swapping weapons, dude. Carry on your conversation. We could have gotten it out of him for much less. Fenris knows what he's doing. When are we leaving? Once we're sure we squished all the maggots. Ah, bull. We got them all. Let's go for a drink at Chloe's instead, then. All right. You're paying. Not right now. You know what? I think he was proposing that as a pickpocket opportunity. I didn't think of that. I thought he was suggesting that these guys were gonna ambush some Morcons. Morcons is still such a stupid name. I can't believe they actually came up with that as a name for a faction. At least all, all the factions in the first game had sensible names that actually meant something. This is the first time they just completely made one up. 
fact, that's basically been true of all of their games. Yeah, so I'm not sure what's the best way to do this. Gas mask doesn't make much difference. Yeah, see, this is the free um, jackhammer that I didn't even think to get. Oh, there's some iron here. Honestly, I don't think the gas mask made much difference. It might change how quickly it accumulates, but I don't think it changes how quickly you take damage. More of this. So I'm just going to be quaffing potions while I loot everything. I don't know if we take damage through these cutscenes. I mean, he's still grunting, so I assume so. Yeah. Hello. No. Oh, God. Okay. Lesson learned. You cannot... This fucking bastard, my mind work faster, he says. One of Scrappy knows how Grom treats us. Well, now Grom is dead, but so are you. Alright, so... Probably am better off wearing the mask. Because we can't heal while we're poisoned, which I did not know. Okay. So it seems like if you're already drinking one potion, you can just keep pressing the button. And it'll just skip the animation for the next one. There's Grom. I don't... We wouldn't be able to tell if that's meant to be a callback to Gothic 2 Grom. But he's a miner versus a hunter, so I don't think it is. I'm waiting for three days for that useless shit of a cultivator. Wear out my ass cheeks waiting for him any longer. Got another think coming. Well done. I think it is kind of silly that the basic, like, uh... Basic medicine for status effects basically heals everything. Get down! You monkey. <laughs> Done it again. <laughs> That's so hilarious. I hope they never fix that, because that one's actually funny. Oh god, I'm really dying. Oh god, I might be out of potions. A lot of money to be had here, though. I think they already know about it. Oh. Here's Snarly. God, it procs real fast down here. Alright, let's get out. I think that's good enough. I've definitely got the iron I need. Whew! That took a lot, though. Might not have been worth it. I think I said it before, but I don't understand it. It's like every game that has... Or at least Gothic 1 and 2. Every time, like, the blacksmith hit the sword with a hammer, it always dinged twice. And now they seem to have brought that back for no apparent reason. Hey! What 
are you doing? It is, but not in this one. It also doesn't really make sense. Because, that, I mean, I don't think you'd really want a bouncing hit when you're trying to forge a sword. Because that would be a very imprecise strike and you wouldn't, you would be a pretty bad blacksmith. You want very defined hits. You're also not really supposed to follow through when you hit like that. Like, you want it to bounce back, but you don't want it to, like, hit a second time. Where they are, right now. Well, uh, I don't know. Are you actually trying to convince me that you don't know where your friends are hiding? I was just having a little snooze, and then... Shut up and march across that field. Yes, ma'am. Well, you didn't really get the answer you wanted, did you? Last made you the work tools. Did it cause any problems? They'll probably mark it down against your name in the future. Typical. Anything else? I had to decide how many work tools he should make. That blockhead should just do his job. But, good. I can stop worrying about it now. What's up? My workers are running away. And while I'm trying to fix their mistakes for them, they take the rest of the day off. Yeah, sounds like working at Amazon. Go like that. What do you take me for? I was distracted for a split second. That's all it took for them to make a break for it. Just now, when the seedlings need the most attention. You need to get them back. No discussion. You're making a lot of domains. I don't even work for you. I need to make sure the seedlings don't wither away. Scrappy needs new recruits for the mine. More recruits? He has plenty working for him. It was an incident. It wouldn't be the first. Tell me, please, what have I got to do with it? I have to put up a notice here. And you think I'll just let you do that? Without the mine, the fort will be missing a crucial source of iron. And without seedlings, we may as well give up our campaign. About the workers for the mine. Doesn't everyone have a choice who they work for? Of course. There's no slave labor here. Then you shouldn't stop me from putting up the notice. And what if people start to run away? If they don't want to work here, they won't be as productive anyway. Hmm. Might be onto something there. We certainly can't let productivity suffer. Put up your notice. No one will be interested in it anyway, now that I think about it. Who'd work in a musty mine shaft when they could be enjoying the fresh air of the field? Not to mention the mine shafts are liable to kill him because it's full of gas. Where would your workers hide? If only I knew. They couldn't have gotten very far. I'm guessing they're in the fort. Eating, drinking. They want nothing more in life. Well, who would? If I didn't have to work for a living, that's what I'd be doing. I don't care about that. I just want to put my thing up. Done. Done. I should get back to Scrappy. He must still be in the fort somewhere. Did Thorhill give you permission? Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess that's fine then. Damn right it is. See, I have no love for the original voice actor. I mean, some of us like snarky. Dog or something? Woof. <laughs> oh, funny. My quotes he made were funny because of his dry voice, but in general, I actually, honestly, think I preferred the Risen 3 actor. As much as everyone thought he just sounded like an obnoxious edgelord. But no, nothing superseded uh, Gothic 2 Hero in terms of performance. All right, well, they'll probably be in the bar then. This can't keep happening. Sounds like bullshit to me. Uh, if you say so. I don't see any cultivators. I only on a They're all nameless idiots. I can't right now. That's if you want your daily rations for free, talk to Skinny outside if he's there. Or is there something else I can help you with? Nope. 
Oh, there'll probably be a Chloe's den. Forgot that this was not the bar. That's gotta be the craziest thing I've ever heard. This must be a Give me my rations. Give me something to eat. Here you go. Special zoop. I wonder if it, he suggested if somebody suggested that the soup might make you sick, and I wonder if it does. Think so? Thick rubber soup, gross. Heard it took the whole troop. Where is the soup? I heard they all died. Yeah, looks fine. It would be funny if they actually had something where if you ate his soup enough times, you started to get food poisoning. Both these kids had something going on, but I don't really want to talk to them because they're annoying. Nice. I thought your leg was just straight up missing. Dorman. I'm telling you, next chance I get, I'm quitting. You look just like Kaya. Like, literally, like, the exact... Eh, I guess her eyes are a little more buggy. Ah, the old bitch is in a mood again. Well, that's rude. Only seven fights? You guys need to step it up. Can't you see I'm deep in conversation with this bottle? I don't know who the hell that guy is and why he looks like he belongs in a what do I care? glam rock band. Why would he do that? Did you hear he broke his weapon? Apparently they live underground. <sighs> Can't you see I'm busy? Oh. Butch. In the area too. You're thirsty, aren't you? Who's asking? Shouldn't you be looking after the seedlings? I can wait. Thorhill doesn't see it that way. And that old lady should pay us some real money. We're not screwing around for the hell of it. We know a lot's riding on these seedlings. That's why we're busting our asses looking out for them. But just a couple of shards for all that? Just, come on, man. What's wrong with these shards? Not enough of them's what's wrong. We do anything wrong and the bitch cuts our pay. Why don't you bring it up to her? She doesn't give a shit. Only cares about that green stuff. Not the green stuff I care about. Always find something to complain about. Rearing these seedlings ain't easy. But maybe for her it is. Been working the field all her damn life. But us? Look at this ragtag bunch. Most of them are from the gutter. That smart-ass attitude of hers doesn't help. Tossing a few shards our way is the least she can do. Is Thorhild the one who decides how many shards you get? I think so. She's so stingy, I bet she doesn't even change her drawers. Hey, couldn't you talk to her? If you can get her to kick in a few more shards for us, we'll get back to work. Promise. I actually think they're okay, because having looked at some of the footage from the first game again, the faces were just pretty terrible. And this one, they definitely... Like they're a bit un uncanny because it's one of those cases where the more detail and the more animated they are, they start to look weird because they're not quite right. Like there, there's facial muscle f muscles that aren't moving when they should be and stuff like that. So it, it definitely hits the uncanny valley a bit, but I still think it looks better than the first game. the cultivators yeah butch told me they wanted more shards ungrateful curs is my training worth nothing to them nope they don't think much of that either and they still want more shards unacceptable surely you can spare a little elixir you've no doubt noticed that more seedlings has meant more cultivators a little soon turns into a great many but Fenris isn't allocating me more funds. So, I have to make do with the budget I have. You see? My options are limited. Or do you have a solution already? Yeah, I ain't paying for it. It's about payments for the cultivators. 
I bet he won't cough up a single shard. Well, he's giving money to everybody who walks in the damn door. Oh, God. Hey, what was the deal with this alchemist? He just kind of, like, brushed me off. But he, se he seemed like he wanted something. And then, like, told me to leave. And also, he's absolutely voiced by Crispin Freeman. What are you doing here? Marwin? I have to talk with Tylus first. Then we can chat. Uh, well, why didn't you go talk to him? You're just standing at the door. He just won't give up. What is it now? I've made sure that your apprentice will find you. I expect you wish it was you. Ask him yourself. Wait, what? Hmm. Huh. It's the apprentice who does the asking. But thank you for finding him for me. I don't remember finding him. I think you're forgetting something. Heaven help me. You want some kind of payment, I suppose. I need some shards too. I'm not a gold mine. I'll tell you're you an alchemist. Turn lead into gold. Fellow you are. There. That's how generous I am. Now, I must be getting on with things. There's so much work to be done. All right, scumbag. More, more earnest, earnestness, earnestness, earnestity, whatever the word is. More sincerity in his voice in that character than in all of Gothic 3. Thorhild says you'll divide up the shards, right? I suppose. Can't say I'm looking forward to it. Everyone feels like they've been shortchanged and wants more. The cultivators, for example. Ah, so that's why you came to see me. And no, I cannot give Thorhild more shards. I'd have to withhold some from the paladins if I did, and Scrappy is already underpaid. Talk to Tylus. If he'd be willing to forego his shares of the shards, I might be able to make something work. Well, I suspect he won't. He's already complaining that he's underpaid. No, Otis did not kill the delivery driver. If anything, he would have hugged, hugged him to death. Why are you just standing here, you dork ass? I need a few shards for the cultivators. Could you spare any? Listen here, young man. You're getting rather presumptuous. It's urgent. Thorhill's workers are running away. Okay, well, in that case, ask my assistant. If anyone around here could spare some, it's that scoundrel Rake, not me. Who the hell is this? I'm pretty tired of you lot passing the buck all the time. Oh, so I'm not the only one you've asked. Not even don't close. Expect me to be any different from the others. I do the work of two people and rarely catch a break. This is too much. Oh, stop whining. Even my patience has its limits. Allow me to refer you to Special Regulation A38. The property of an alchemist must not be misappropriated. And that includes my Alexit. Okay, but how about it? I've just told you, bring it up with my assistant. You know, I thought motivating him with shards was a good idea. But it's had the opposite effect. It does mean, however, he's got shards to spare. And you think his shards won't be enough? He simply won't listen. He's totally overpaid. More than most workers would dream of. He'll be reluctant to share his rewards. Of course. You'll need to be very persuasive. I'd be glad to see the back of him. Anyway, head to the tavern. No doubt he'll be holed up there. Oh, that's the guy, that's the... Please excuse me. That's the glam rocker. Yeah, they, they definitely nailed that. And I'm kind of surprised by it. Man, I'm still not done with my drink. It's been like three days, dude. We have to talk. Oh, yeah? Spit it out. The cultivators want more shards. No shards, no work. Ah, I understand completely. Oh, wait. No, that's bullshit. 
What's it got to do with me? You're supposed to give up part of your pay for them. <laughs> Sounds real appealing. Bet Tylus put that dumbass idea in your head, huh? Does it matter? Will you share or not? Man, they really pull the wool over your eyes, huh? Listen, I have a better idea. If you're gonna tell me to find someone else, forget it. <laughs> Been running around like a headless rat, huh? No sweat, man. There's a humongous chunk of meat that what, chick's eating. Take this Alexa. Just a little proof that you like my solution. Don't want to blow my own trumpet, but I'm pretty well known for coming up with solutions to tough problems. Those idiots should have sent you to me right away. Listen up, man. Meet me here tomorrow. Gotta call in a few favors. Then you'll get what the cultivators want, all right? But first, I need some food to get the gray matter going. Well, maybe just a drink. We have our way. It should be enough. This game suddenly got me interested again. Like, the fact that these quests, like, it, it almost seems like that bullshit. Like, what's that quest in, um... Oh, God. The quest in... Uh, the Bard's Tale, where they keep sending you a different guy with the same name. Makes me think of that. But, like, that was obviously a parody of quests that do that all the time, where it's just one string of bullshit after another. Except there's actual... Yeah, Bob. Um... But... Like, they, everyone actually has, like, a different solution. It's just kind of deciding who you want to deal with. Well, actually, they just keep sending me the next guy, with this guy kind of making it interesting. Wonder what he's got up his sleeve. But it's kind of annoying me that I'm not done with it yet. Now I have to wait. In the meantime, what else can we do? I guess I can go back to Scrappy-Doo. Said we'd be waiting in front of the fort. What's he just doing here? Oh, he's putting up flyers. Okay. Makes sense. I hung up the flyers. Good job. That's what I like to hear. Now you're looking at me, you dork. A little something for your trouble. You're a good one, you are. Now if you could just get a hold of some damn gas masks, we'd be able to work the mine again. That's the last thing I need. Swear on my late mom's undergarments. Yeah, uh, that don't really seem like, uh, something to hold you to your word. I have the gas masks you need. You got them? Seriously? <laughs> I'm just staring at your nuts, Fuck apparently. Son. You're a damn hero, you know? Ain't got a damn clue how I can thank you. Ah, you know what? Take more of Fenris's money. You've damn well earned it. Oh, we'll shit on a plate and call it cuisine. We did it. This mine will be up and running in no time. I'll make sure Fenris knows what you've done for me. Thanks again, boy. You're a damn good son of a bitch. How dare you insult now my mother I'll like get that? My new workers together and head down to the mine with them. Unless you're implying my dad was a bitch. I'll be down there. I see you around, son. Could you teach me something? What do you got? Okay, ammo. Hang on, I already have... Oh, no, I need build weapons 3. Well, can't get nothing out of you. Um, yeah. So that's done. Did you say they like, meet him at the mine? I don't remember. I already forgot. <laughs> 